Okay, so here's our beehive. I thought I'm gonna find some treasure, but I found nothing. Boar turned out to be more aggressive than any wolf that I encountered. I guess it works. Hey guys, and welcome back to our new survival series. So last time we built a pretty substantial base, I suppose. And I've also updated to 1.19.3.9 version. So that's four pre-release versions ahead of what we've been playing and uh, a few things seem to have changed because now as you can see um, I'm holding things slightly differently it feels like the uh, hands got a little tinier or something also as you can see the torch uh, is on the left side and it's kind of not blocking half of the view now I guess there is also a very strange frame that you can see on my hand like in that left corner of the screen I have no idea what that is but it looks like someone has forgotten to close the chat or something anyway so the hands look like they're a little further apart than they were uh, but I guess we could get used to that and I think a few more details will be fixed what we're gonna do now is I wanted to get those bees that we've marked on our map on that little island but for that we need plenty of flowers because uh, bees just won't relocate to my tiny houses if I wanted to domesticate them. Now what I would need for building the beehives is a bunch of clay which I seem to not have and also I would need a bunch of kettles so I guess we could start with collecting those kettles first. I guess it's like 16 units or something. All right let, let's just get as many as we can. So 64 kettles should be enough for four uh, scaps I guess. Now we just need a bunch of clay and what's the closest deposit it looks like it's there and also you can hear new sound effects when we are squeezing through those, through those bushes so um, that was not here before now you can hear that that's a kind of fun mechanic I would say because it adds up to that immersiveness okay, so here is our clay let's just get a bunch of it can we get 64 please no okay let's just craft a few of those scabs okay that looking nice so four scabs that's what we've got did it really take that little clay what the hell okay anyway so um we have our scabs now we just need a bunch of flowers uh, and also we should drop that scab closer to the wild beehive so I can see a bunch of flowers here uh, and there so we're just gonna collect all of them I guess all right how about that cow parsley <laughs> that sounds like fun too bad there are no cows in this game but maybe they will be added soon because in that version that we are playing they have added new god types so i don't know how many flowers we need but around maybe 80 or something that will be fine so that way the bees will be in our pocket in a day or so a wolf can we take that battle or should we just ignore that guy and just keep on gathering our flowers so as long as he's not attacking us we will not bother i guess Anyway, 60 flowers looks like it could be enough, so let's just go to that uh, beehive place. Also, I haven't explored that area much. There is a lot of new territory to explore, we're definitely gonna do that. Okay, so here is our beehive. Um, the idea here is to populate our scab. What was that sound? A drifter? What the hell? I'm on a deserted island, where can you be, you idiot? Anyway, let's just drop our skip somewhere. Um, let's place it right here. Uh, hopefully that's gonna be back. Let's just drop another one up there. Um, I don't know which one they're gonna populate, but let's just drop all these flowers as close to that uh, spot as possible and hopefully it's gonna see all of them. That looks like fun. Okay, so it's catching up. It's it's already showing nearby flowers five, so I guess that's a good sign. Anyway, we should probably go back here the next day and see if it changes. Okay, I can see those ruins here, and that could actually be a good spot to get those uh, cobblestone blocks. What? I'm sorry. 
Okay, so that that looks nice actually. That's a good supply of cobblestone. That should be enough to build our little garden for those bees. Where is this going? Okay. I thought I'm gonna find some treasure, but I found nothing. Let's check that out. Could there be something that I could enjoy? Oh look! Holy shit! I've just dug out some hidden room or something. Let's just clean up all of that area here. And as a reward, we're getting a bunch of cracked vessels. A few aged shelves that are probably aren't usable. Oh, wait, this one is usable. I mean, aged shelf. Do we need that in our house? I don't know. Uh, but we definitely need spider web. No, we definitely need that torch. I mean the torch holder because uh, this will allow us to put our torch in that torch holder so it's just gonna burn infinitely so that's fine um large crate pottery what does that mean uh also the cracked vessels uh, we just don't have enough space to get them so we should probably remember that the ruins uh here the height is 107 and we're just gonna remember them like so maybe so we shall go back here and loot that little dungeon i'm getting granite dry stone that's interesting um yeah it has a different texture and i don't know if it's gonna be useful but we've got it now let's just take a quick nap and then go back to our duties <laughs> and it's 9 a.m i wasted some part of that morning routine but that's fine let's drop that eight wait what who's stolen that block from my roof anyway let's just close that little gap here uh, also let's drop our torch and let's see if we have any other torches here mm, it appears that we don't okay so here comes another torch and let's light that thing up let's drop that here and at least now we will have our light and it's not gonna be super scary to live here god damn these bushes how it was not possible to put that block okay let's just drop one here one over there let's just drop another one right there so actually that farm looks too big but that's fine what about those cinnamon ferns are they flowers no they are just plants so we're just gonna get rid of them is that a different kind of flower or something eagle fern Dear fern why do you need so many the area is a little cleaner now also we need to relocate those flowers or plants or whatever these things are we just drop them somewhere here and now we can finish up our little bee farm here i can already imagine how many beehives i should build <laughs> boy nine i guess yeah and i have only two I guess that's the biggest bee farm I've ever made. I don't know if I need that much, but because I started it, let's just finish this up. Come on. Also, I would need to get those uh, cobblestone stairs, but I kind of messed that up. It would be nice if I had three of them. I have only two. I have only one, actually. And that's fine. Let's just drop it like that. Add more fans so that stupid raccoons are not gonna destroy our bees. I mean, that's not that bad to get started at least. We definitely need more flowers. That will do for now. But yeah, I, I, I understand that I need more. So uh, let's just add that little scap here. Also, let's add another one over there. Are you excited to see what we've got? I am extremely excited. Can you see my excitement? Can you hear that? Let's go. What have we got here? Empty scape, empty scape, fuck you. Okay, we'll swarm in less than a day. So that's probably good news, but these boys are still empty and hopefully that's gonna see them. But we'll swarm in less than a day, so we should get, so we shall get back to it like uh, maybe in a couple of hours. All right, ten flowers, easy peasy. Now we need more of those wild daisies, I guess. Oh, check these out. Now that's what I'd like to see in my little farm. Check out how many flowers I hear. So this is gonna be enough. Let's just clean up all of them. 
or actually there are more so yeah i found the sweet spot i know you can catch those butterflies with your net but i don't know what you can do with them maybe just put them in a glass or something showcase all right so it seems like i got a little bit too excited about those flowers and collected a whole stack of them now um but that should be enough let's just go back to our base oh wait let's just check up on those uh, once again because that kind of gives me an idea that they might have populated already so oh let's go yo so population size large will swarm in less than a day and here we have another empty scap and you can see here it's poor so um i wonder if they're gonna relocate in another one so let's just finish up the one uh our farm first uh, because I've got all of those uh, flowers and then uh, they are kind of not allow me, allowing me to uh, get those head, hand baskets or maybe they do but anyway uh, let's just go back plant those flowers first and then we can uh, go back here oh crap bro what have I done to you that fucking boar turned out to be more aggressive than any wolf that I encountered because that, that, that guy just punched me right in the face and didn't even bother to ask me partially eaten by another creature oh i could be another creature that could eat another half of that oh yeah nothing did you see that new animation of cutting so before it was like you are using a fillet knife to just make a nice cut but now you're almost killing that dead hen already you just make sure it it's dead oh yeah and i remember that we should check out those uh, storage vessels that we found in that little ruin or something so it's raining now does it help now the moisture level is still 75 percent but at least it's not gonna go lower than that so that's kind of fun so yeah let's just plant all of these remaining flowers okay that's a little weird but I don't know what to do with all these flowers, okay? So I'm just gonna place them all around my farms. Hey yo, so that looks like a good spot, I guess. Okay, cool. So we've got our populated scabs now. Actually, two of them. <laughs> That's fine. We're just gonna get them in our pockets. So where did you put them? Did you stick them up? <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna know, bro. Just don't tell me where you put them, okay? So uh, where do we put them, actually? So we should definitely drop one here because it's gonna get to those caps at some point. We should drop that here too, but we just need a bunch of more of these caps. And that means getting even more kettles. God damn it. Does it mean that we need 80 of kettles now to fill up the whole area? So if my calculations are correct, that's how many kettles we're gonna need. So let's drop that empty one here another one over there population size 4 how many flowers do you see? 87, that's nice that's bigger than in that little area let's just go back to those ruins real quick uh, collect everything that we can find in them cracked vessel what? food? spelt seeds oh boy that's not food I need to grow that so large crate pottery uh, what does that mean can i get that crate please how do you break that shit okay you don't it's, it's gone whatever uh, another vessel forage what's there okay honeycombs so maybe we shouldn't have built the hebe farm it's so easy to get them like that oh the fun part now uh, is that the cracked uh, I mean the chiseled blocks are dropping um, some stones so uh, instead of just completely disappearing they are now dropping some stones and that's actually pretty logical so they don't drop complete blocks but they do drop these stones and that's actually nice because uh, they come in all forms and sizes and they would easily clutter up your inventory with all of those half finished things if they dropped the way they did before actually i don't remember how they dropped i think they completely disappeared or something should we get that shelf i don't know it looks fun material stone unusable clutter wait what 
Do you, are you saying that I can't do anything here? I cannot place this block. So why is this unusable? That looks completely usable to me. Check that out. Even the screws are there. Oh boy. Okay. I think we've cleaned up all of that area now. Let's just get out of here. And I should also uh, water those little these little seeds that I have here. Yeah, let's go. Oh, check that out. The moisture level is somehow got to 100. So I guess it works. It's actually working, guys. So when it's raining, it's gonna add up to your moisture level. Now that's cool. So I don't need to bother watering these at all. So that's kind of cool. Let's just drop that watering can. Where where did the torch go? Oh, check that out. I found a bug. <laughs> anyway guys so that's it for today's episode so we've got our little bee farm actually that's a huge bee farm and in the next episodes we might want to focus on getting those animals first and then we can start building our house or maybe we could actually build our house for now because i don't see any animals here at all uh, except for those chickens that are uh, half dead already because the wolves are getting stronger in that area and we might need to hunt some of them down before they hunt us. Anyway, that's it for today and I'll catch you in the next one.